Hi, everybody. It's Karen McCullough. And um, I asked my marketing director, Ben, to come back. We had such a great response with our last session that I thought we would do it again. So welcome, Ben. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Well, glad to be today, back. Actually, yeah, I'm glad you're back. And I want to share with everybody something that happened just a couple weeks ago. Ben pushes me. I have to be honest with you. Um, since COVID, you know, I've, I've had a lot of younger people helping me and Ben was um, really coming onto my team and helping me with my marketing and my website. And we've stayed on. And uh, about three weeks ago, he encouraged me to put a new app on um, and add it into my programs. And I was very resistant. So I'd like for Ben, first of all, to tell you a little bit about the app and then we'll go on because it really taught me a big lesson. Yeah. So the app I believe you're talking about is called Talkadot. Um, it's something that I actually heard about from several of my other speaker clients. Um, they'd been using it. they had gotten great success. Um, it's something that uh, from a speaking perspective, the, the speaker bureaus and, and meeting professionals, they're aware of it and, and it makes everything really easy. So everything from getting you know, feedback right after you give a presentation, testimonials, um, referrals, leads, all that stuff is built into one place. And I knew it was something that was one, going to make your life easier. Um, but, but two, I knew that it was really going to help you as well. So, so I resisted. <laughs> I resisted because I didn't want to bother. I didn't want to bother my audience. I'd have to put this QR code on a slide and I would have to ask them to actually go to the code. And I was giving all these negatives, which is my first lesson. Don't assume because the very first group I did it to, they all got their phones that I had the best response. They kind of got into it. I did actually share the story that I was pushed into it by my marketing director <laughs> with the technology and that made everybody laugh. And I think that kind of relaxed them. So um, it's interesting because this app gives you immediate, immediate feedback. I didn't really think about the feedback. I was just thinking about them saying, oh, I love you or all of that. But I didn't ever think that I was going to actually get feedback. Yeah, and, and you've then, gotten quite a bit of it. I have. And it's all been positive. And then yeah, this last week, I got I got something that was very interesting. Um, people have said, tell me more about Gen Z. I mean, they've they've said some things, but I got feedback that hit home. It said that they liked they liked the keynote, but they also felt that my slides, get this, were a little outdated and that maybe <laughs> I could <did> upgrade. <laughs> so today I want to talk about feedback because um, as speakers, we, we get the feedback. Many of us were fearful of it. But Ben, I want to hear him talk too because he does something very personal for people. Um, I read once where hairdressers have a lot of anxiety because they're touching people and they're they're creating something on how people <clears> look <throat> and are presented. And I actually feel like you as a web designer, you probably have to deal with feedback too. So before I yeah. go into mine, share with <laughs> us a little bit about yours. No, you're right. Um, you know, but before I started this marketing agency, I had a software consulting company for 20 years. And so when I started the marketing agency, a lot of this is very creative and I love it. That's, I mean, I really thrive in that. I love creating stuff, but you're right. It's very difficult when you do get feedback, especially feedback that's negative or um, can be perceived that way. It's difficult to separate yourself from the feedback because it is a very personal um, experience making something so creative. A lot of the best work that I've done, and the speakers included, and some of the speakers have pushed me the most, but it's it's when I get pushed, right? Okay, so when I deliver, <clears throat> when I deliver something and I get feedback that's like, you know, this is good, but it's not good enough, or this isn't really quite what I was thinking you were, you know, you were going for, and let's change direction. Or or like I said, you know, it's just not over the top enough, or it's not that sort of push, even though it's hard to hear always in the end gets me to deliver the best work. I, I think you hit it. And that's kind of where I'm going with this because feedback, it's interesting because it, it's a little bit scary, but if you listen to the feedback and it's feedback that you can say, yeah, I get it. 
You know, maybe I didn't do my best. I think that it really pushes us to excellence. And I, I've got to really kind of promote feedback because a lot of younger, a lot of younger, I, I, you know, I do a lot with Gen Z. I do a lot with young millennials and they want feedback, but they want the good feedback. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's how we deliver it, of course, you know, and I'm learning, I'm pretty, I'm pretty direct a lot with my coaching clients. Cause I do work with key, helping people write keynotes. And I have learned that I have to give very gentle feedback. But in the end, if people can listen to the feedback from people who they value and appreciate and customers, because that's now what you've made me do, Ben, now I'm getting feedback from customers. I'm not getting them just from the meeting planner. It's everybody sitting in that seat has the power to critique and revise and improve my keynote. And just in the yeah. last three weeks, I've grown a tougher skin. I've actually, that's why I wanted to do this talk today, because I want to thank you for getting me to do, to scare me and getting me to do something I really didn't want to do. But I also am so grateful for the, for the feedback because I've got some pretty big events coming up and I don't want to put in my dated slides, especially since I'm talking to young people, mostly in my audiences. So. I well, let's be, good. let's be real. I mean, the feedback that you've got for 99% of it is, is all very positive. It is. Even that feedback wasn't negative. It was, it was you know, great, this, this, and this, although, right? And so- I have to admit, and please, if you, some of my slides go back to like 2015. So yeah. they were- Well, the funny thing, now, if I would have told you that, it's, no. good, it's good to have this kind of feedback because- Well, I like that you just said that. That's sometimes so you're in an echo chamber and it's hard to hear. You need to hear so, it from someone else. Yeah. So I think you hit on something because we have to value the person that's giving the feedback because- I, as speakers, we get feedback from other speakers and I'm being really honest. I haven't listened to too many. I only listen to people who I want, who I believe in and who I feel right. can really help me. But this, this, this audience member did, did me good. He did me good. And well, so today, right. you was, know, go on. I was just going to say, you're right. I, it really does, um, you, you know, depend on who's giving the feedback. Right. If it's a client or someone who's paying the bill, you 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 can't ignore that feedback. You have to listen to that feedback. But sometimes if it's a friend or a colleague that is ask, you know, giving you feedback that you didn't really ask for, <laughs> sometimes that's 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 harder to hear. Or you also sometimes have to step back and say, that's an opinion and I don't necessarily agree with that, and I'm gonna let that go. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's the lesson today. I, I really wanted you because I felt like you yours are very emotional, um, not only for you, but they're also emotional for the person who's looking at their pictures, you know, our photos and how we look at a website. Yeah. So I feel like you've really got to please a lot of, of, of different people. And yeah. I think that the longer you do it, probably the better you're getting. With dealing with feedback or yeah. yes. Um, yeah, but and I hate to... You know, but I, 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 I'll own it. I, I get a lot of good feedback. So it's, it's hard to, you know, when you do hear pushback or you do hear, um, you know, you do have to either step back and say, am I doing something? Is this not my best work? Or am right. I not listening enough? Or is this really good? Sometimes you just can't, there's, there are some people that you just cannot please. I or there like are some that. people that aren't going to tell you what you want to hear. There's a client that I currently have, and I had to at one point just say, time out real quick. I'm looking for, I love it. This is the best. And I'm getting the feeling you're never going to tell me that. <laughs> and he said, yeah, that's not who I am. I'm never, I like it. This is, this is good. I could like something else and I could like something else, but no, you're never going to get that from me. And so sometimes you might be searching for something that you're, <laughs> you're never going to get. So you have to just take that. Okay. It's that's good enough. Good. That, that's yeah. that's really good. In our in our audiences, we were. I mean, when I first started speaking, there is always going to be one person that hates you. <laughs> you know, there's always going to be. You can't make everybody happy. And I had to in the beginning. I only focused on that person. And if you're if, if you're speaking and you see somebody that's kind of got a, a negative look, it's so interesting because like I'll just keep looking right at them to try to get them to laugh. And then you find out that they're thinking. You know, they're not yeah. really making an opinion. It's just their process of thinking. So summing it up. Let's sum this up. I think for me, I think if, if I'm giving this to, to my audiences, I would tell them 
that many times feedback is a gift. And that if if you act on feedback where you re respect the person giving it, it can change your life. It can put you into a new career. It can elevate you in a job. Um, it can get you a standing ovation as a speaker. And it can get you to be a top designer on websites. That gets you a lot of referrals. <laughs> a lot of referrals. So let's do this again. Yeah, I'd to love to. Yeah. I, I actually have fun doing this with you. And it's like, I get to see you every once in a while. So that's good. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay. Let's say, let's say bye. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you next time.